But what, what happens is, is ectoplasm will come out of the um, body and go into here, into this end. Right. And will form in this area a pseudopod, which is an etheric voice box, allowing spirit to utilize it through an energy vibration to communicate to you. Okay? Um, sometimes there's a glow and a dark tape at the end. Sometimes it'll come out of the cabinet and it'll float over your head and tap you on the head or hit you in the knee. Or, or Lady Nada, if she's the one that comes through, flirts with the men. Um, with Stevie? Stevie. He's been hassling me about not doing that part to me. Yeah. Um, That's why she says it. Well, she, she likes men. She likes him. <laughs> um, if, if you would start drinking scotch, she'd like you. Um, so anyway, that's what a seance trumpet is. The history of it is um, a gentleman by the name of uh, Joshua, back during the time of Moses, could see that the people that were in the back of the tent, if you read Exodus, um, it states in there that Moses would enter the Holy of Holies, a white cloud would appear above that Holy of Holies, and then a voice would come from the cloud. What that is is ectoplasm and spirit coming through, and the Holy of Holies is a seance uh, cabinet. So he could see that people you know, couldn't hear it, so he was trying to figure out ways to get the voice to be louder, and he remembered that um, certain cultures in, in battle, the ones that were in charge of the battle, would have this device that they would talk into to get the voice to, to be louder. And so he had the idea to hollow out a piece of wood, and, and that wood um, was, was the same size at both ends, and if you make a cone, it's even more louder. And then through the years, the, the material that it's made out of is, is different. This one's tin, but some come made in, out of aluminum, others plastic, <coughs> or, uh, poster board. Um,